So last year around this time, I was um, being made fun of by a lot of people that I had helped. And they just thought it was so funny to um, to lie and to manipulate me. And to they got like money from me pretending to be like my friend and my family member and all these things. And then the whole time they were just lying and they were teaming up with someone who didn't like me and all these things. And um, I didn't have my Facebook up at the time. So I activated my Facebook back so I can, you know, like see everything that was going on. So then God spoke to me and he told me to tell them, whoa, and that they should stop. But they saw that and they just kept going and they just kept going until God had to humble each and every last one of them. So much so to one of them went to jail. One of them lost their house, their car, their kids. Like they lost everything. And then they had to get humbled. And one of them tried to reach out to me by my, my sister and try to find me and try to apologize and all of this stuff. But God says, when he says, don't touch his anointed, don't put your mouth on them. He means it. He means it with every fiber of his being. God is not playing when it comes to you. And I think people don't understand that. You don't have to argue back and forth. I said nothing. I gave the word that God said. God said, whoa. God said, everything you touch is going to fall. Everything like that. And God said what he said. And he meant what he said. But I didn't go back and forth. I just let them continue to post me. I made let them make the subliminal post. Let them do everything. They thought it was all funny. They were making he, he, ha, ha post. And God says, he, he, ha, ha. Okay, I'll show you. I'll humble you. And if you've ever been humbled by God, it is not a good feeling. So they had to go through losing everything to understand that God said what he said and he meant what he said. When you choose to come after God's anointed, you better make sure you're ready to lose any and everything. I watched them lose a marriage. I watched them lose houses and cars. Their kids get locked up. I watched all of this stuff happen all while I sat back. I began to pray for them. And God said, stop praying because it's only going to get worse. God is saying he's not playing in this season. He means what he says. Now, this year, I'm watching people call me all kind of things. I'm just sitting back. God is saying, I'm telling you, take your hands and take your mouth off my anointed. Woe to your enemies. Woe. If you're wise, you will listen and you will take heed to God's word.